Hi, this is Dr. Don. I want to take a few minutes and show you how to install R in R Studio for your desktop. Just go to your favorite browser and start typing in R Studio. That'll take you to this page. Drop down to where it says download the IDE. Get there a little more directly. And there's some information about that. We want to use the free version. There's some pretty nice stuff there, but all we need for this course is the free. So I'll click on download the free and it takes you to this page. And it shows you that the first step is installing R, and then you install R Studio Desktop. I like this page because it tells you the version that you need. It'll click over here, and you want to pick the version for your operation. Here I'm using Windows. You want to install R for the first time, so that's the base. Either one of those links will work. Click on that link for download here R for Windows. We wait till the execute file is ready to go. And then we can click on that and begin installing R. Depending upon a number of things, it may take a couple of seconds or several seconds, or even a minute or so to get this going. And then you just click through the dialog boxes using the defaults primarily. You should read this if you get a chance. It's pretty much boilerplate and we need to use it. But go ahead and scan it and then click OK. Let the default installation works just fine default again here and here we're going to use just the default and the default again now here you can add a desktop shortcut if you want i'm just going to click that for fun and giggles click next and keep going now we just need to be patient again it may take several seconds or a minute or a couple of minutes depending upon your system so i'm going to pause here and come back to you in a second still going about a minute in i'm going to pause again it's still going boy i have a slow connection today looks like we're just about there let's go back and install our studio so we go back here and now we need to download our studio desktop for windows let the execute file drop down again and we'll click on that to bend the installation Hopefully it'll go a little faster. Uh, let's go. We just click through the defaults pretty much again. Just set it up the way they recommend, usually as a safe bet. Again, click the default, and we're going to wait and let it install again. I hope it doesn't take as long, but I'm going to go ahead and put this on pause and come back to you once it's expanded everything. That took about a minute to get here. We're just about done. So we'll let this finish up. Well, I spoke too soon. I thought it was going to move really fast here the last few percentages. But we're almost done. There we go. Click Finish. And we've got our studio installed on our desktop as well as R. It 